Mas lá é de onde eu vi mal lá, não é lá? Não vai, não vai. Na área. Na área ele é baba, é chalmeu é o jovem. Não é lá, não é? Mas tu tem que ir. เสด็จนี่เนี่ยเราจะเอาดีเยอะก็แค่ปีดูเยอะก็แค่สุยาอ่ากูรู้มีอาณาชิมพัสดุปงเซนรู้ไหมเราอาณาเต็งอยู่อ
she rejected the accusations of genocide. Can there be genocidal intent on the part of a state that actively investigates, prosecutes and punishes soldiers and officers who are accused of wrongdoing? So why is Aung San Suu Kyi now backing the army so publicly? Well, some believe she sees it as her duty to defend her country, even if she doesn't have constitutional control over the military. And let's not forget, many in Myanmar, which is a majority Buddhist country, do not care about the Rohingya Muslims, or they outright despise them. Being seen to give a patriotic defense of the country in the face of so much international criticism could boost Aung San Suu Kyi's popularity even more ahead of the next general election in November 2020. Justice for the Rohingya is still a long way off, even with this court case. And that's because the ICJ has no way of enforcing a ruling against Myanmar. And there is no international police force to protect the Rohingya from further abuse. Neither Aung San Suu Kyi nor the generals would automatically be arrested and put on trial. But it could lead to sanctions against Myanmar, damaging an economy only just finding its feet after military rule. It could also give momentum to other ongoing legal cases brought on behalf of the Rohingya. This means for years to come, Aung San Suu Kyi will have to defend herself against one of the worst crimes imaginable, an international beacon of freedom, fairness and equality who has fallen so far.